Good evening, dear ladies. That's Bezrat Hashem blessed that Hashem will give us the support, the marriage, to greet Mashiach Tzikem Bachmim Muim B'mrav Yameinu Amen. Eliyahu Nabi Eliyahu Bishbili Yadi Ladi B'mrav Yabo Elenu Mshech David Eliyahu Nabi Zachur Latov. And we all have the support to see the building of Beit HaMikdash HaShashi B'mrav Yameinu Amen. כי אין בין רוב בשוב אדוני ציון. אתה תקום תרחם ציון כי עת לחננה כי בא מועד. השיבנו אדוני אליך ונשוב החדש ימינו כקדם. We all have the zכות to go to ארץ ישראל, to the land of Israel, on the wings of eagle, and we all have part in ארץ ישראל. בשם השם נעשה ונצליח, אין עוד מלבדו, השם שפתי תפתח ופי יגיד תהילתך. The ladies, בסייעתא דשמיא, the שיעור is, we all know that today רבי וולסטין, זכריה שמעון הכהן, וולסטין בן יצחק הכהן, עליו השלום, תהיה שום תעצור המצור החיים, זכותו תגן עלינו, that he passed away today, so the שיעור will be לעילוי נשמת, לעילוי נשמתו. You know, we, this week, פרשה is קדושים. In Israel it was a week before, on Shabbat, last Shabbat. But in this parasha, Hashem says, You should love your fellow human being as you love yourself. I am Hashem. And what does, it, what does Hashem mean by this when He tells Moshe Rabbeinu to write it? Which means what you dislike and you don't want others to do to you, you don't do to others. You don't want to be judged, you don't judge others. You don't want others to shout at you, you don't shout at others. You don't want others to slander you, you don't slander others. You don't want others to gossip about you, you don't gossip about others. You don't speak about the children of others because you don't want anybody to speak not nice about your children. So what is the essence of us coming to this world? The essence of us coming to this world, and we're going to speak about it tomorrow on the Zoom. We're going to have about Parashat Doshim at 8 in English, 9 in Hebrew. Every Tuesday we have Parashat HaShavua. 8 English, 9 in Hebrew. Besiyat HaVishmai, we came to do good deeds for each other. That's why we came. Just to do kindness, actions of kindness toward each other. And the best example is Rabbi Wallerstein. There's no better example than this. Rabbi Wallerstein that gave Shurei Torah, that took girls that were disturbed and didn't find the, the, the balance mentally, and they, he helped them, and he opened Ornava, and he opened also a Chava, a Chava, a ranch, a ranch to help them. This is exactly why we came over here, to help each other. This is why we are here. Because if it was only the commandments between us and Hashem, we would go to hell a little bit over there and immediately to Gan Eden. And Yom HaKippurim atones for the sins between us and Hashem. Mamash Yom HaKippurim itself. But sins between us and other human beings, there's no forgiveness. So you see, all of us that are sitting over here, we already met each other in different reincarnations. We came again to do the fixing. So we want to do the fixing. How do we do it? By doing kindness, kind actions toward each other. With our mouth, this is the Brit Kurtala Sfatayim, it starts with our mouth. It's with our mouth. Rabbi Moshe Kordoveros Chodot Aganon says, it's with a smile that you have on your face. It doesn't matter what you go through. And this is written in, this, in, all, in all of the books of Musar, of moral, the Jewish books of moral, all of them say, it doesn't matter through any challenges that you go through. When you see another person, you should smile, you should be nice, because you don't know what kind of packages this other person has. And this is mamash tzaka, this is charity. This is doing charity not with money, but doing charity with our body, with our face, with our words. This is a bigger charity than giving money. Because it says in Masechet Baba Batra that a person that gives money for charity, for tzedakah, gains from Hashem six blessings. But a person that made charity with the mouth, with his smile, that he gave another person, gains 11 blessings. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. 
11 plus 6 is 17. 17 is the numerical value of good, of Tom. So dear ladies, this is, we can take an example from Rabbi Wallerstein, Alava Shalom, This is what he came to do. This is what we need to do. To help each other in any way we can. And if we can't, we go to another person and ask if we can help this person. So, Bezrat Hashem, that we will all take this with us and from now on, because nobody knows when he is going out of this world. We never know. But because we never know, we should grab making good deeds and following the commandments as much as we can before we go out. Because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Everything is in the hands of Hashem. So we see Besiat Adishmeh, also the children of Israel. They went out of Egypt. On Pesach, Hashem took them out of Egypt. And Hashem took them out even though their soul wasn't elevated yet to the place where they can receive the Torah. Because they were inside 59 of gates of impurity. And Hashem said, we have to count the Omer. And why do we count the Omer? We count the Omer because we're going to receive the Torah on Shavuot. And on Shavuot there's going to be such a big light. We can Every year we can receive again the Torah and be a vessel of Hashem's Torah. But how can, be a, how can we be a vessel of Hashem's Torah when we take out the stones from us? Because a stone is a parable to the evil inclination, to Yetzirah. So we take out the anger, we take out the jealousy that is not in place, we take out the lust for everything in this world, everything that we use in this world, we do it for the sake of Hashem, for the sake of heaven. We take out searching for honor, that people will honor us and that we will, be, will feel that we are honored. We are humble. So every day until we come to Shavuot, we go out of one gate of impurity into a gate of purity by fixing our character traits. How do we do that? By being aware. First, we have to be aware. We have to wake up. We have to be honest with ourselves and Hashem because once we are honest with us, ourselves and Hashem, I would like to say something before that. Okay, this world is a stage and we are actors on the stage. And Hashem said, choose life don't choose death. Choosing life is going in the way of Hashem, which means following His commandments and being kind to each other. Choosing the other side is following the evil inclination, doing what the evil inclination wants us to do. Circling the, the, the table at the, at, the, at the end of the table, circling it. Oh, okay. Hashem says, put a kiss to your horse, put a cover on your head. Ah, but so many don't go with a cover, so... It will be okay. Hashem says, be tzniut to us. Tzniut, be modest. It's not only clothing. It's the way we speak. It's the way we handle ourselves because we are the daughters of a king. The children of Israel are daughter. The, bo the men are sons of a king and we are daughters of a king. Look at the king that is flesh and blood. Look at them, how they dress up, how they behave how they eat on the table. They're an example. Furthermore, the children of Israel. Because when Hashem created humanity, He chose us from all of the nations. So we are precious to Hashem. And because we are precious to Hashem, we are an example and a light to all of the nations. And we are considered the firstborn of Hashem. And you know by halacha, by the Jewish laws, that the firstborn in each family, all of the children have to respect him, like a father and mother. So all of the nations, their obligation is to respect the Jewish people, because we are the firstborns of Hashem. Bni b'chori Yisrael. Hashem tells Moshe Rabbeinu, tell Pharaoh that you are my firstborns. So Hashem says this, the world is a stage. We are just passing through. You came over here, we all came over here to fix all of the things that we did wrong between us and other human beings. And we can choose either to fix it or to fall again with character traits that are not in place and not do the fixing and we'll have to come again 
and we'll have to meet again the people in order that they will forgive us or if we if, if, or if we stole something from somebody we have to come again and pay it so before we go to sleep dear ladies forgive everyone because it, in the measure that we measure for others Hashem measures for us so before we go to sleep we say Ribbono Shel Olam Arini Mochelet here I am forgiving everyone in this re reincarnation, in previous reincarnation, anybody that spoke to me not nice, anybody that hurt me, anybody that stole from me, everything that they did, I'm mochel. Machulem, machulem, machulem. Because we want to stay under the throne of Hashem. We don't want to come again and again in different reincarnation. We can come as a stone. If we sit, sat down and we slandered, we slandered other people, we slandered the rabbi, we slandered the rabbitson. It doesn't matter what, if we did this, we come back in a reincarnation of a stone. <laughs> the walls of your, of your home, they testify against you. Why? Because we know this from Navala Karmeli. Navala Karmeli, he became as a stone because he didn't speak nice about David Amelech. So Arizal says, he who slanders, comes as a reincarnation in a stone or as a dog because a dog bark have have all the time so we should be very careful a man that goes with a goya also comes as a dog so we don't want to come again we have to fix now this is the time we are alive if, I, if we still have the soul we wake up in the morning this is the time to fix we shouldn't wait anymore so we are in the month of Iyar and we know that Pesach and the month of Nisan is all about love. But the month of Iyar is all about Yir'ah, that we will have the fear of Hashem. The fear of honoring Hashem. Not the fear of punishment from Hashem. Because truly Hashem doesn't punish. Because Hashem is the essence of good. And the essence of good is to bestow good on people. And how does Hashem bestow good upon us? let us come to this world but it truly it's light it's a string of light very thin string of very thin string of light that when it comes to this world it becomes letters the hebrew alphabet have better 22 letters and then the letters the combination of the letters that come above us depends on the recipient on us if we were good and did the will of hashem then the words will be good words which, which means, if we did the will of Hashem, then the letters of Ay, Nun, Be, Gimel, the letters, if Hashem decides to put the letters Ay, Nun, Be, Ay, Gimel, Nun up above us, they will become one, pleasure. Hashem will give us pleasure in things that we do in life with our children, with our grandchildren, we'll have pleasure. But if chas shalom we slandered, we did something that is not good, the combination of the letters will, will be nega, will be sickness. It's the same letters. It depends on us. So if we did a mitzvah, this is a tip. We said it a few times in the shul. If we did a mitzvah, immediately after the mitzvah, a good deed, we did something, uh, follow the commandments of Hashem, that we won't fall with pride, because if we fall with pride, the evil inclination takes this good deed, takes this mitzvah. So we say, Al taboeni regel gava. Like King David says, don't let me fall with pride. Once we say this, Hashem says all of the letters of this verse is around us. The evil inclination cannot take anything. Everything stays and goes under the throne of Hashem. So in the month of Iyar, we learn why? Because Iyar, Iyar, you see how it's written? So, Aleph, I'll write it over here, I'm going to write this, I'll write it underneath so you can see. So, Iyar, this is the month of Iyar, is Yud, Reish, Aleph, Shazayare, to have the fear. This is the month that we work. Or, A-W-E, or. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Wait, wait. 
בסייעתא דשמיא, so this is the fear of Hashem, and then we have a yud. To remember the Ten Commandments, the Ten Days of Appointment, because we have double yud over there, okay? So yal stands for ani, Hashem, of echa. I am Hashem, your healer. Why? Because if we follow the way of Hashem and we are kind to other people, it doesn't matter how Hashem, what kind of nega chas v'shalom, what kind of sickness Hashem knocked on our door, Hashem will heal us. Because Ani Hashem of Lechai, you have to remember, I, I, I am the one that brought this upon you. So I am the one that can take it from you. But how did Hashem bring it upon us? Because when we don't, when we listen to Hashem, we create good angels. When we don't listen to Hashem, we create destructive angels. It's not Hashem's fault, it's us. It's our freedom of choice. He says, choose life. But if we don't listen to Hashem, we choose death. Lo aleinu. And then diseases comes and other things comes. This is the choice. But Hashem loves us. He wakes us in the morning which means Hashem wants our healing. He wants us to be well. He wants us to be happy. He just wants us to have relationship with Him, that we will speak to Him, that we will daven to Him, we'll pray to Him, we'll mean it from the bottom of our hearts, that we will do peace with other people. Everything is nonsense. Hebel habalim amar shlomo amelech. You know what Hebel is? Hebel is nonsense. But Hebel is the initials of Hakol Bara Lichvodo. Hakol Bara Lichvodo is Hebel, which means everything that Hashem created is for His honor. So everything is nonsense. Even if somebody hurts us, also it's nonsense because who sent him? Hashem sent him. It's just a messenger from Hashem. We needed a little bit of flick. So Hashem sent somebody to give us a little bit of flick in our ego. In our ego. Baruch Hashem didn't touch the parnasa, didn't touch the body, didn't touch the children. Todalael, it's only the ego. But the evil inclination is in our emotions. So it, 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 it triggers the emotions. And then we forget where we came from and where we're going. We get angry, how dare they? How could they do this? Who did they think they are? We forget our place and say thank you to Hashem that you didn't touch us with Pranasa, with income, you didn't touch us with our body, with sickness, you didn't touch us with our children, Baruch Hashem. Okay, you knocked on the door with the ego, thank you. I'm humble, I'm humbling myself in front of you, Hashem. And then if that person that hurt us, we say we love you. Mechila, if we did something wrong. And once we say the word Ahava, love, immediately, all of the anger, everything goes out of the window because the evil inclination cannot do anything when we take words of kindness out of our mouth. Nothing. Why? Because ahava, when we say love, ahava, look, Aleph is one, He is five, Bet is two, another He is five, together it's thirteen. Thirteen attributes of Hashem. Immediately we are, we are activating the thirteen attributes of Hashem. And we are immediately, when we said love, Abba, we are united with Hashem. Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. We become one with Hashem. Ki Aleph is one, Chet is a, Dalet is four, also it's 13. <coughs> you see? We become one with Hashem. And then all of this energy that wasn't good, all this negative energy goes out of the window. The evil nation cannot do anything. That's it. Because his job is to test us. Our job is to pass the test with shining stars. <laughs> so how do we do that? Remembering our place. So this is our work. This is our job. That's why we came, to fix our character traits. So on the month of Iyar, how do we do that? By reading Masechet Avot. We just read the first chapter of Masechet Avot. And it's all about uh, all of our sages and how to behave, and how to be humble, and how to respect each other. Nachon, why? Because Iyar, how do we know it's Masechet Avot? Alex stands for Abraham. The Yud stands for Yitzchak. Another Yud stands for Yaakov. 
And the race, Rachel Imenu. This is the chariot of Hashem. This is the month that, so that's why we're studying Masechet Avot, in order that we will fix ourselves. Look how beautiful it is. If we fix ourselves, Hashem says, if you fix your character traits, and you, and you, don't, and you don't apply to me with pride, but you remember your place, and you humble yourself in front of me, I will give you healing. Ani Hashem Rofecha. I will heal you. So, uh, Admor Mik Mikoznich says that from Pesach to Atzeret, which means from Pesach to Shavuot, Atzeret is Shavuot, because Pesach, and until Shavuot, it's seven weeks, just like we have on Sukkot. Sukkot, until, until Shmini Atzeret, there are seven days, and Shmini Atzeret is the eighth day above nature. So, on, on Shavuot, it's all early, above nature, because on Shavuot we received the Torah. Hashem made us a vessel for His Torah, and during these, uh, the Spirat HaOmer, every count of the Omer, when we went out of one gate of impurity to a gate of purity, and everybody can do that. If we are alive, we didn't finish our fixing, because if we finish our fixing, Hashem is calling our soul. But if He woke us in the morning, it means that Hashem is waiting for us. So we see Besiada Dishmat, Sua Futsa, Lishtotak Shamim, Shabbat Pesach, Lat Serat, Hemra Puat Gola. So the Admomi Kosnich says that the rains that fall between Pesach and especially on the month of Yah and at Serat, which is Shavuot, the rain that is falling is rain of health, healing. It has properties of healing. So Today we were outside, we, today we were outside, and it was very funny. We did a Pashat Chala in a yeshiva for girls in middle school, a six, seven, and eight. We were working, it was raining, and we were walking with a tongue outside, and I think people thought that we are a little bit cuckoo. We just wanted the rain <laughs> to come to us. It's the first day of the month of April. Yeah. So, Nishma, what do we do? We can take a, a, a bowl and put it outside, not at night, during the day, put it outside, gather the rains. When you put it at home, take bounty, um, filter it yes. through the bounty that there won't be you know, a, a small uh, insects or something inside. I, I filter it through the bounty and then say, here at son, that let the, be the will that this water will have healing properties, Bezrat Hashem, and then say, Shakol Niyabidbo, and drink it. So know that the rains that are in this time are um, a mash, water of healing. It's a big thing. It's water of healing in this time. So we go that we, we can't love Hashem without having the fear of Hashem, fear of honoring of Hashem, because then we don't remember who we are, because then the evil inclination gets the best of us, and we have pride, and we fall with all of character traits that are not so good. Because we, we are not satisfied with what we have. We see the neighbor, that the, the grass of the neighbor is, uh, is greener than our grass, and uh, we see that uh, the, the husband of our neighbor bought her a ring, so we say, wow, we bought her. You should buy us too, you should buy me too. So this, this, is, not, this is not being satisfied with what we have. So we continue the Siyat Adishmaya. I want to show you chapter 128 in Tehillim. Okay? That it speaks about the family. It's a good chapter for Shlom Bai. So over there it says, that's to know what our character traits. Over there it says, So a man that has the fear of Hashem is blessed. And it's true about a man and a woman. So how is he blessed with a midot, with the character traits that our forefathers have? So what is the gimel? Gimel stands for gomlei chasadim. Gomlei chasadim is, do, is doing good deeds, giving charity. Then be is by shanim. It stands for shy, because if you're not shy, you are arrogant. A shyness is a good measure. And then reish the Rahmanim, we have mercy. And we can see that uh, the children of Israel have a lot of mercy. 
So they are Gomlei Hasadim. This is a character, and this is the character traits of all of our forefathers and foremothers and all the righteous that he came through all of generations. And we can see this also in Rabbi Wallerstein. So we see Gamlei Hasadim, Baishanim, Berachmanim. How do we get this? By having the fear of Hashem, Yireh, which is the month of Yah. And remembering the Ten Commandments. Good. Ten Commandments. Ten days of atonement. Ten counts of the Kabbalah. Of the Kabbalah. We remember this is by ten. And if we don't remember, you, we remember that we have ten fingers to remind us. Ten parallel to the, the Ten Commandments, the Ten Days of Atonement, the Ten Counts of the Kabbalah. We have it in our hands to remind us. So we see over here, you see, Gever Yireh. Only by having the fear of Hashem and respecting Hashem and honoring Hashem, then we come to these measures. We are shy, why? It says in Masechet Avot, Know what is above you. An eye that sees you, an ear that listens to everything, every word that we take out of our mouth, everything. And a hand that writes all of our action in a book. Now, it's just like um, a camera that, you know, what's it called? Balashim, Bolshim al Anashim. Don't detect it when spies. Just like spies, everything is seen, everything is heard, and all of our actions are written. And when we go out of this world, when the soul goes out, it sees everything that it done. And the soul signs the treaty that everything is true. There's no politics anymore. There's no politics. We have to admit that everything is true. And we are judged for everything. Not only judged, there's also calculation. Hashem says like this, I send a few times people to make you do tshuva. You went to a shul Torah, you heard, and I told you what I want from you. One, two, three, four, five, you didn't listen, you heard. And even we'll say, oh, wait, I don't think I heard, I don't know if I heard. They will show us. Here, look, you were sitting and you heard. He, Hashem does calculation for all of the times that we could have done tshuva and we didn't. And when we sin, Hashem does calculation for all of the hours, minutes that we sinned. Because at that time we could have done a mitzvah. We could have done a good deed. We could have listened to Hashem. So there's not only judgment, there's also calculation. Can you imagine? Who has the mercy, the best, biggest mercy? It's Hashem, because He's the King of Kings. When we go up to the court in, in heaven, they, they judge us by truth. That's why King David says, please Hashem, you judge me. Why it's like a king? A king decided to make a decree about a, a, a ploni ben ploni, about someone. So he tells his minister, the minister, a minister goes to the police, a police chief, the police chief goes to the to the policeman. The policeman takes his car and go to that goes to that person. Even if that person said, "Please, please have mercy upon me. Don't do anything," the policeman cannot do anything. Even the if the policeman will speak to his boss, he he cannot do anything because the order came from the king. So if we directly speak to the king and ask in the merit of our sages, may Hashem have mercy upon us and show us the right way and give us the koach, the, the, the inner power that we will follow his ways, Bezrat Hashem, and help us to give us good people in the middle of the way, that they will show us the way and help us to do it, Bezrat Hashem, then we go out of this world and righteous tzaddikim and tzaddikot and all of our families come over here, all. They all come and, and they greet us and the Shekhinah, the Divine Presence, comes with us and takes us up to heaven. But chas shalom, God forbid if it's, the, it's, if it's the opposite. Chas shalom. So we see over here that this, has, that this month has qualities of health. Furthermore, 
health that comes by fixing our character traits. Furthermore, Besiata Dishmaya, on this month, the children of Israel started receiving the man. The man, the food that they received, this is the food for angels that only gave health to the body. There was no waste. Can you imagine? Why? Because they needed to be a vessel. You see, the body is only a clothing to the soul. Once the soul goes out of the body, the body falls. It, it can't, we can't move the hands. We, you, you take a, a flashlight and put it in the eye of the person that passed away, he doesn't see anything. You can take a microphone and shout in his ear, doesn't hear anything. So what holds the body, which is the clothing to the soul, is the soul. Because of the soul, we, we are moving our hands. Because of the soul, we are speaking, we are smiling. It's the soul inside, and the mirror of the soul is our eyes. The mirror of the soul is the eyes. Why is it the eyes? That's why we need to protect our eyes and only see good things because Ayin, this is Ayin in Hebrew, Ayin is 70, Yud is 10, Nun is 50, together it's 130. So multiplied by two because there are two eyes, it's 260, it's 10 times the name of Hashem Yud Kei of mercy. This is our eyes. That's why we need to protect our eyes to see only good things. So the eyes are the mirror of the soul. So Hashem says, okay, I'm going to cleanse you with the man. So we can also, we don't have man today, but we can do the brachot, the kota ne'enin, the brachot before we eat, with a kavana. Because when we do it with a kavana, we create angels. And the person that hears our blessings answers amen. And by answering amen, it's written Abraham Zaken Baba Yami. It's written Babraham Babraham Zaken Ba Bayami. Which means that Abraham Abin was old and he had a long life with all of his life, a long life that he lived. If we look, look at the initials of each word, the initial is Amen. With all of the amenim that Abraham Avinu answered, with all of the amenim that people answered after his brachot, because amen, Aleph is one, Mem is 40, Nun is 50, together it's 91, which, shh, shh, it's 91, and this is the name of Hashem, Yud Kei Bab Kei, which is 26, the UK Bavki 26 plus the name of Adnut. And this is 65, together it's 95. And 91, Slicha. And 91 is also an angel, because this is how we create an angel. Once we say the Bracha, by doing the action of the mitzvah, we create the body of the angel, which is spiritual. And by having a Kavana in our hearts, we make the soul of the angel. Together, it's a whole angel. Shh. Together, it's a whole angel. By doing this, look, the Malach, an angel. So Yom says about this like this. And this we have to learn because it's very important. It's written to Yom. Yom says this. Dear ladies, Yom says this. Oh. Yob chapter 33, verse 23, he says, One angel, that is a good advocate. There's a thousand that are negative angels, prosecutors, and there's one angel that is a good advocate for the person. This person is going to be saved from sickness, from everything. But we need to create an angel that is a whole. How do we create him? The angels also have body and soul. By doing the action of the mitzvah, by saying the bracha, and how do we say the bracha? We, Rashash, Rabbi Shalom Sharabi, says this, we have to divide, in order that we have a kavana, to divide it to three parts. Baruch Ata Hashem is one. Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotav is two. Betsivanu Al Netilat Yadayim is three. Okay, three parts we, we divide it. So when we divide it to three parts, we think about what we are saying. We create the body of the of the angel. 
but we mean it with our hearts. And once we mean it, we create the soul of the angel, and immediately yeah. this angel goes up and he says, Hashem, I was created now by the bracha of this and this woman. Oh, yeah. This is an angel. Shh. Shh. This is an angel, a good advocate, because even Eof says, one angel. Alachat kama vechama, dear ladies. You see what happens to us in Israel and over here and all over the world, to the Jewish people. Furthermore, if us as human beings, if us as flesh and blood will be good advocates for each other, then Hashem has to save us. You understand? Because we are not angels. We have evil inclination. So if we speak good about our husbands, our children, look positively at everybody that is around us. Give good words. Lashon rakat ishbor garim. A, a soft mouth, a soft word will break even a stone. Yeah, true. Okay. So a soft word, if we use for others and not be judgment, you know, with a measure of judgment, like cutting a knife in a flesh, but being soft, that's why we came, we came to work on ourselves. Then by doing this and being good advocates for each other, this is, this is what Hashem wants. Hashem wants us to be good advocates for each other then Mashiach can come with mercy. Immediately, miyad. Just by all the time finding the merit of the children of Israel. And if we can't find, we should say, Kol Am Yisrael Tzadikim. Kol Am Yisrael Bnei Melachim. Am Yisrael Chai, David Melech Yisrael Chai Bekayam. So once we say it, we say good thing about the children of Israel, immediately in heaven, all of the prosecutors have to close their mouth. Because if a flesh and blood, not an angel, is a good advocate for the children of Israel, they have to be silent. So let's continue. So we see that this is a man, but also we received, this is by the schut of Moshe Rabbeinu, by the merit of Moshe Rabbeinu, but we also received the well of Miriam, the water. And you know what? Why water will cause us to be wise? We know that Arizal took the Rabbi Chaim Vital, even though he taught him, he came especially to teach. He came to this world to teach Rabbi Chaim Vital. And, 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 he, and he couldn't understand anything. So he took them to the Kineret in Tveria. He took them to the Kineret, he put him on a boat, and over there he took a, a cup, he took the water, and he said, okay, say Shakon And once he drank, all of the gates of wisdom were open for him. Immediately. So why? First of all, we know that Miriam, in her merit, we had the bear, the well of Miriam. Nachon? Why that come Miriam? Why was it Miriam? Because look, this is the this is the power of our names. Because look, Miriam, look Miriam. Okay, we have mine. You see mine? Miriam has the, in her, in her name, mine, water. Mem is 40. Another Mem is 40. Yud is 10. Nachon? How much is it together? Nine, 90. Plus the word mine, plus the word water. Ima kolel, 91. 91 is a man. 91 is an angel. Malach. Malach is 91. Mem is 40. Lamed is 30. Aleph is 1. Chaf is 20. Together it's 91. 91 is also ma'achal, food. So if we say the brachot, and people around us say amen, we are creating so many beautiful angels that not protect us only, but protect Israel Israel and the whole world by our own deeds, by Am Israel. So we see also the Rashal Miriam was created, was, uh, uh, was given to the children of Israel on the month of Yav. Furthermore, because the children of Israel were clinging to the, to the Torah and preparing themselves by fixing the character traits and going from one gate of impurity to a gate of purity, even the, the war of Amalek was on the month of Yav. Even the war of Amalek was on the month of Yav. Uh, can you imagine? They went out of Egypt. And then they, they, they were a little bit slow in studying the Torah. Amalek immediately came. And with Baruch Hashem, Hashem picked us up and helped us to overcome him. 
even milchemet amalek. So what does Hashem want from us? So dear ladies, because this is a month, this is a month of healing, so we'll speak a, a few words also about healing. So uh, Hizkiyahu the king, you remember Hizkiyahu the king in the book of Ishayahu the prophet, and we spoke about it several times, that he became sick, and Ishayahu the prophet came to him and he said that you're going at the mood, you're going to die and not, you're not going to live in the true world. On the other side, and Hizkiyahu was such a righteous king that him, in his time, even the babies knew Torah. And he used to put a soldier in front of every yeshiva with a sword that if you don't study Torah, you will be killed. This is how he was righteous. Everybody knew Torah. So how come he will die in this world and he won't live? So Ishayahu said, but one mitzvah you didn't do. You didn't fulfill one commandment. You didn't bring children to this world. He said, but I know by prophecy that my children, Lo Alenu, are going to cause the children of Israel to sin. And he says, it's not your calculation. You leave it to Hashem. You need to do the mitzvah. You leave it to Hashem. So he said, give me, I will marry your daughter. He said, okay. So he married his daughter. But before we're going that he married his daughter, he said to him, to Yeshayahu the prophet, I know from King David, from a great great grand, a grandfather, that even if a sword is on, listen very carefully, even if you are sick, or if you're in a, such a trouble that you can't find the way out, even if a sword is on your throat, and it doesn't matter what challenge you're going through, sickness, trial, children, husbands, doesn't matter what trial, what kind of challenge you're going through. And the sword is on our neck, we shouldn't prevent ourselves from mercy of Hashem. We should cry to Hashem, pray to Hashem, give tzedakah, Tzedakah saves from death. Whatever you have, always give tzedakah. Nobody became poor from tzedakah. Which means charity. So he said, leave me. And he, st and he stood and prayed to Hashem. And Hashem added 15 years to his life. He married the daughter of Yeshayahu, the prophet. And he had two sons. And once he was walking with them, and he put them on his shoulders, both of them were speaking about idolship. So he threw them on the floor. One of them died and the other one was stayed alive, Menashe. He became the king Menashe. That did all, he sinned to Hashem, everything. He worshipped all of other gods. But when Hashem took him and, and the enemies came and put him in a pot to cook him, he prayed to all of the gods. But nobody helped him. So he said, I remember my father was praying to Hashem. I will pray to Hashem. And if he will save me, it means that he's the true God of the world. If not, chas v'shalom, it's like the others. And the angels came and they closed all of the gates of heaven because it didn't deserve. And Hashem said, I created tshuva, repentance before the world was created. And if the gates are closed, everybody will think, okay, if I sin, that's it. I can't do anything anymore. That's not, Hashem doesn't accept tshuva. Hashem himself made a hole in heavens to accept his tshuva, and he saved him. And he let him be a king another 22 years. Can you understand this? This is the tshuva. So it's a big schut, dear ladies. And you have it over here because they prepared for the Georgian uh, Jews over here. So um, we're going to give each and every one of you. This is a sgula, the prayer of Hezkiyahu the king to be saved from sicknesses and any trouble that we have. This, you can read it also from the Tanakh, from Ishayahu the prophet, chapter 38, verses 9 to 20, including 20. Okay, this is a big sgula 
to be saved for, from sicknesses and challenges. We are going to give it out, Besiata Dishmaya. So this is what's written in Belekudei Tzvi. And it's written like this. When a person is sick and he will be healed by reading the thank you, the, the, the song that Hizkiyahu said to Hashem to thank him for healing him. And this tfila, this prayer, was was given to Hizkiyahu, the king, by Hashem. From heaven he received this. And it was a, 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 and they told him from heaven that he will say this prayer with with crying with the tears. Ben Chole, Ben Bari Bishat Saraim. If he's sick or if he has other challenges and he has a, a problem, Bishat Saraim he trapevi natzel mikol adinim achamurim. He will be healed and Hashem is going to save him from all of the judgment that is around him, all of the challenges. That, he, that came from him from heaven. And it says that even if you can't shed tears, cry, but the, the voice should be in a crying voice. And repeat it and read it and say to Hashem, give tzedakah and besiata dishmaya, Hashem will, will heal you and will take you out of the challenges that you're in. This is how it's important. Dear ladies, Furthermore, be quiet in the shul when we come to daven, when we come to pray on Shabbat and during the week, especially when they open the book of Torah. Chas v'shalom, do not speak. If you can't, if you feel that you cannot be quiet, don't come to shul, ladies. Stay at home. The Gaon Mavina says, if you feel that you are coming and you want to speak with other women, don't come, Go, stay at home. He wrote Igeret, he wrote a, a, a letter to his mother, to his wife. He said, please stay at home and, and don't make other women speak in the shul. Let the men do their job and everything has to be silent. But this, Rabbi Moshe Kaudoveros, who taught again and says, how, to, how do you live a long life? So he says, long life in Hebrew is seva. Seva, I'll write it over here. Okay. Seva, a long life and a healthy long life, good long life. The Shin stands for Shtika, silence. Okay, Shtika Yafa, Be'et Hatfila. That being silent is beautiful, is good. This is what we need to do while we are governing at shul. Seva. Seva means a, a long life, a, a old person. To come to a long life, when we are in shul, we should be silent. Chas v'shalom lo ledaber. It's a big, it's a big sin speaking in shul. We don't see it. If we could have seen the angels that we create, the destructive angels that we create one, once we speak in shul, then there wouldn't be freedom of choice. Every word that we take when we come to the shul in order to pray, and instead of this we are speaking with our friends around us, Lolen, we are creating destructive angels. I told you there's an eye that sees, an ear that hears everything that we say, and there's, there's a hand that writes everything in a book, all of our actions. This is how we have to be cautious. Furthermore, I will give you another thing, this year, oh, another thing, Marav Kuk, another thing, Bezrat Hashem, because there's a lot of sgulo to be healthy and, and, to, and to go, go over challenges, but Marav Kuk says a beautiful thing. The month of Iyar has properties of healing. So we come to the to the 18th of the month of Iyar, and this is like Baomer, yeah. the 18th is like Baomer, but 18 is high, high life. So at the 18th, Vesiyat Adishmeh, Belag Baomer, which is like Baomer, the, the students of Rabbi Akiva stopped dying, because this month has properties of healing. 
And when they come to life on Lag Ba'omer, which is the schut of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, schutot again alenu, the siyat adishma Hashem gives life. And takes all of the sicknesses and all of the judgment and challenges that we go through. We can do that, dear ladies, like this. We can change the reality. Mamash, in a split of a second, how can we change the reality? It says, Parashat Mishpatim, Rak Shito Iten Berapo Yirape. Hashem says, You keep Shabbat, you beat Sniut. You cover your head on Shabbat. If you don't cover during the week, at least on Shabbat, you cover your hair from the moment you light the candles until after Suda Rabi, David Malka Meshicha, you cover your hair. You eat the meals of Shabbat with Kavana. You say the Brei Torah. You speak Torah, uh, Torah lessons around the table. You sing to Hashem. You do everything with happiness. Rakshiv Toi Ten. You give your Shabbat. Hashem says, this is a promise from Hashem. Berapoi Rape. Hashem is going to heal you. Can you imagine? This is a this is a present. Furthermore, dear ladies, Asher Yatsar. When we go out, we do our waste in the toilet, we go out. Please, do not walk. After you did Netilat Yadayim, after you washed your, your hands with soap, you did Netilat Yadayim Lesurugin. When you go out, say, Asher Yatsar Vikavana. Put your hands like this. Feel that the Hashem's uh, light, uh, eternal light comes into you. That you are a vessel. And think about the words that you say. Do not speak to anyone, do not do it. You stand, you don't, are not walking and saying it. You stand and you say it. This is, a, this is mamash gula to, to be healthy, mentally and physically. To say asher yatsar with intention, with a kavana, b'siyat adishman. So you have a, a few things we went through. Rakshitoiten, you give me your Shabbat. Because the Shabbat is the essence of all of the six weeks, the six days that will come after that. Hashem says we are the partners of creating the six days that come. If we wouldn't have, if we stopped keeping Shabbat, there wouldn't be a existence to the world. From Shabbat that we keep, there's another six days. Can you imagine? So, dear ladies, I would like to bench all of us, bless all of us, that we will all have health mentally and physically, that we will all greet Mashiach Tzikad Rachamim, Mwil Mimra Be'aminu Amen. Eliyahu Navi Zakhur Latov, Lola Vipere Dadam Mechabro Bidbar Alakha, Yachid Berabim Alakha Kedrachim. Amen. And Besiyad Adishmea Talinu Betov Etakitsu Bishu Avraham. Amen.